Having a contact form on your website will allow your customers and clients to submit their contact information securely. There are various ways to insert a form on your WordPress website. You can embed it using WP Forms. You can copy and paste a short code on one of the pages or posts on your WordPress website, or you can add it using Elementor. Hi guys, this is Jaswin Walia from Team Loan Today. And in this SOP, we will learn how to add the WP Forms contact form to your WordPress website using Elementor Builder. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, once you are on your WordPress dashboard, all you have to do is select the page or create the page that you want to add the WP Forms to. So go to pages from your left sidebar and either add a new page in case you have not already created a contact us page or select the page that you want to add the form to. I want to add the form on my services page. So I'm just going to select that. Now you can either go to edit and then go to edit with Elementor or you can just simply edit with Elementor from right here. So let's click on edit with Elementor and let it load. Awesome. So once your page is loaded, you can scroll down. And as you can see, there is a section over here that you can add. Now, if you don't know how to use Elementor, I'm going to list the whole Elementor Builder playlist in the description box down below. So go check it out and learn a little bit about Elementor. It's one of the best builders that you can use out there. All right, so click on this plus button and select the structure that you want. You can use a two section structure or you can simply use a one section structure. It's up to you. So select this particular structure and you'll see this plus button right here. Click on this plus button in the blue section. Now all of these widgets, they start to appear, right? So you are, you'll find WP forms right here in the bottom. But if you can't find it here, you can always search for the widgets saying WP forms and it will start to appear. Now drag and drop this over here. Awesome. Now all you can do is select the form that you want to add. I only have two forms made. Both of them are contact forms. I can select any one of these. I'll select the first one. And as you can see, the form is starting to appear and that's all you have to do. So you can choose the display options. You can just add the name of the contact form. And if you have a description of your form, then you can add that over here as well. I don't want to add the name like this. So I'll add another section to it, which would say the contact form. I'll do it later, but let's look at the advanced section. I can give it a little bit of a margin and I can give it a little bit of a padding. Okay, just so that it appears a little structured. I don't want to mess with the width, the position at all, but I would want to um, see if I, if I want to give it a border. So let's see, I can probably give it a solid border, a double border, just like this, dotted border, no, nope. dashed or groove. Okay, so groove looks a little better or I can just go with solid. I can increase the width of the double or solid uh, border that I've selected and I can choose the color as well. So I can choose like any of these colors that I want. I'm just gonna go with black. And again, increase the width a little bit. Awesome. Now let's see, nothing else that I want to do honestly over here. All right, so you can like go to background, you can go to hover from here and you can like select a particular background type, which when you have your cursor over your form, you can like change the background color. For example, I can like always, I can select the primary color as maybe blue and see what will happen. See when I put my cursor here, it changes color. You can also select a second color and make, make it like a gradient. For example, you see, see, pretty cool, right? So I don't wanna keep it because it doesn't really go with my website. Um, so let's just clear it out and let's look at the other options. We have offset, 
You have flip horizontal, vertical, some motion effects. Fading, fade in. Yep, I like that. And the layout, layout is fine. It's a full width layout. There is an inline layout. It's a custom layout, which you can like see. Let's keep it at default. And the position can be absolute, which is like something like this, doesn't look good. The position can be fixed, which is wherever you go, it will be there. So that we don't want to do. We'll just keep it at default. We don't want to mess, mess around with the settings a lot. We'll only mess around with the things that we do understand and want on our form and with our form. Once you are happy with this, what you have done. Actually, I do want to add a heading, so I'll quickly do that. Yeah, I think I'm happy. Once you're happy with the contact form that you have added, you can go ahead and you can just click on update or publish if you have created a new page. So I'm going to click on update from here and we can preview changes. All right, so as you can see, we have our contact form appearing right here on our services page, which looks pretty cool. It's faded in. We added an animation, so it faded in, which is awesome. Hope you guys were able to learn how you can add your WP contact form on your WordPress page using Elementor. I'm going to be coming up with a lot of digital marketing tools related videos, so stay tuned for that. Now, if you have any questions, any queries or any other kind of video that you would like to see on the Learn Today channel, feel free to put your suggestions in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit on that like button, subscribe button, along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos. This is Justin Walia and I will see you in our next SOP.